Hey, how's it going, guys? Let's do this over again. <laughs> um, thank you, Blondie. Appreciate that. I always forget to put my mic on. Hopefully, you can hear me now. Um, cool. All right, so um, we are making egg rolls today. So I'm probably going to make some egg rolls on Wednesday as well. Um, and then Friday, we're going to have my buddy Peter on. Um, I was supposed to have um, Sulkin, who is a stream, Twitch streamer here, um, that would come over today with his girlfriend, but we were not able to do so. Um, he had some uh, scheduling conflicts. Okay. He had some scheduling conflicts, so he wasn't able to come by, which is okay. It happens. Um, we're going to try to get him by next weekend. Uh, let's see. Where is... There we go. Let's get some wine going here, man. Hold on one second. All right, anyway, so like I said, we're doing egg rolls. Um, so I'll do traditional style egg rolls on... Wednesday, most likely. Um, I kind of wing these recipes. Um, so if there's a particular recipe, I am going to do beef Wellington soon. Probably, maybe, maybe I'll do that next week with uh, Sulkin uh, because somebody has been asking about beef wellies, um, and I love beef wellies. This is a Gordon Ramsay recipe that I know, um, so it's not the traditional beef welly because the traditional beef welly is importantly expensive. <clears throat> because besides the beef tenderloin that you got to use. Um, you have to wrap it in foie gras, so um, which is duck liver basically, and that shit is like 200 bucks a pound. I mean, it's it's really expensive. So we're probably not going to do that just yet. I would love to have that because foie gras, mm, even though foie gras is incredibly <laughs> horrible, what they do to get foie gras, they stuff literally stuff the poor duck so that its liver liver enlarges, um, and then. Um, Upstate New York actually does a lot of that. Um, they, it's, it's just horrible what they do to them, but damn, it's good. Um, all right, so let me get a drink here. Hmm. I ain't feeling too good today, guys, so I'm probably not going to drink nearly as much as I normally do. So, you know, maybe half a, half a bottle. <laughs> all right, anyway, like I was saying, we're doing egg rolls today. Um, but we're going to do buffalo chicken egg rolls, not the traditional style, just because... I wanted to try it. I, I've done regular egg rolls before at Infinitum. Um, they're amazing and I love them, but I really wanted to try and see what we could do with egg rolls because it's basically, the way you can look at it is like a burrito. I mean, you can put anything you want in a burrito, right? Breakfast burritos, you know, regular burritos, whatever. And the cool thing about um, egg rolls is that you can even go a step further and make them sweet instead of just savory. Um, my mother-in-law did uh, peach cobbler. Uh, egg rolls over the weekend for uh, my niece, I guess, niece-in-law. I don't know how that works. Um, anyway, my fiance's younger sister, she just turned 16. And um, so they, they made that for her. And, I, and I'm like, that's actually really cool. I never thought about that. So uh, maybe we'll fuck around with that too. But today it's buffalo chicken. So let's look at our ingredient list here, okay? It's pretty tight. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna shallow fry them. Um, I'm gonna probably do maybe two inches of oil in a pan, um, and then I'm actually gonna do. Um, I don't have that much when it comes to my buffalo sauce. So if I'm if I'm low on my sauce, I know how to make some. So uh, we'll we'll play around with that. Um, and then we're gonna. Eat, this is all the cream cheese. I'm adding garlic to it. You don't necessarily like traditional buffalo sauce doesn't have garlic. Oh, by the way, so this stuff here. Highly recommend this. Um, normally, Red Hot Sauce is like really expensive, right? Or not expensive, but um, has a lot of, uh, wow, why is that not focusing? Um, really, it's not focusing on that, is it? Anyway, um, it's not, I lost my train of thought. I told you, I'm not feeling good today, guys. Um, it usually has a lot of calories in it because actually I learned in culinary school that Frank's Red Hot or rather that uh, buffalo sauce was two ingredients, Frank's Red Hot and butter. I was so mad because I love buffalo sauce. And I thought it was some magical thing, like there was a ton of ingredients and it was something that was you, you struggled to make. No, it's two fucking ingredients. Whoa, so mad. I was betrayed. Anyway, so because it's like butter, that you know, there's got one of the ingredients is butter, it's going to be a lot of calories. However, Frank came out with a zero calorie stuff, and that's what this is. So this is actually zero calories, and it is fire, man. It is so good. Um, I highly recommend getting it, especially if you're trying to watch your calories. And then, of course, normally you do use Mott's, but you, if anybody has been hanging around me long enough knows that I don't like 
low moisture shredded mats. Um, ball mats is great. That stuff's awesome, but that's also really expensive. Plus, it doesn't shred real easy, so um, usually I don't use it when I'm going to shred cheese. So this stuff, though, so good. Supremo, their whole line of Mexican cheeses, 100%. And, you know, it's fairly good for you. Well, it's good for processed cheese. Anyway, egg roll wraps. These are actually a pain in the butt to find, <laughs> so I finally found them. And then we're going to do some scallions. Um, my sauce for it, though, I'm going to do, I found this online. I want to try it out. Ranch. Uh, gorgonzola or blue cheese and fresh dill, which I'm just going to use regular dill. Um, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to see if that's any good because uh, that sounds really good. So um, let's get to work, right? Let's do this. All right. So front. first up, let's get the cameras going. All right. I need to get my oil going first and we're going to have to check the temperature on it to make sure it doesn't get too hot. It needs to be at least three, about 350. Oh, back burner. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. So I'm going to do a shallow one, maybe about an inch, which is about half of this, um, only because I want to save on it. And I don't deep fry things very often, so I don't want to have oil sitting around forever in a day. Um, my fiance loves making fried chicken, so maybe we'll get doing that. But since we're going to be doing egg rolls again, because um, I got another pack of egg rolls, then maybe we'll do that um, and just reuse the oil. All right, so this thing, we're going to get that at the temp first. All right, next, chicken. So our chicken is in the sink. Oh, first things first, got to run our sink. Always have a sink of water ready. Muy importante. How's everybody's days going, man? It's a gorgeous day out here in Northwest Indiana. Man, it's nice. I highly recommend getting outside. It's going to be hot today, and there's actually a pool in my apartment complex, which is really nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, we don't get too many nice days. Hmm. All right. What happened to my music? Let's get our music going again. Wow. There we go. Cool. We're good to go. Spotify stopped, so I apologize for that. Okay. Work. Uh, are you at work now, Blondie? How you been, actually? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Are you still programming? <laughs> you see, you're, you're being very productive while watching somebody get drunk on camera at work. <laughs> Not that I haven't done similar things, especially when I was still programming. Well, I appreciate you being here. Okay, let's get our, uh, our chicken going here. We're going to actually saute the chicken first uh, because I want to impart a little more flavor. But if you're trying to save on calories, um, just, be, just bake it because we're going to shred it anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. Um, I just, I really just try to impart as much flavor as I can. Yeah, still programming? Yeah, hey man, gotta get that money. I miss programming only because it was really good money. <laughs> it was easy money for me. I only got two chicken breasts today, which should be plenty. We're limited by how many um, we're limited by how many man, I can't talk today. Um, egg roll wrappers that we have. So that's, that's our limiting factor today. Um, we're gonna, let's see where my temperature is at on this. I really don't wanna get this thing up too high because it's a pain in the butt once it does. It's not actually a meat, this is a meat thermometer, so. Getting there. 200. Okay, let me over here. We need to sharpen our knife too. At least I get to work from home. Oh, cool! That's awesome. Me too, technically. <laughs> if I can just get some money generating from this business venture of mine, that's awesome. I love working from home, man. Lord willing, I'm not gonna 
do anything else. Cool. All right. Maybe we'll do some air fried french fries too. I mean, because why not, right? I don't know. That thing's kind of loud, so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Let's see. All right. Let's trim this sucker up. Oh, let's get you. Oh, you guys need a better angle. There we go. There you go. Get to see my fat belly. All right. How you liking working from home? Better than going to the office, or do you miss going into the office? Don't think I would miss going into the office. We're just trimming off the fat, because I mean, that's kind of, you know, gross to chew on. And it's boneless, skinless anyway, so this is gonna be pretty fine. All right, now we need to flatten it out. Don't miss driving to Chicago. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Hour and a half, one way at least. Oh, I need to wash that down first. You gotta make sure you clean up after yourself, especially when dealing with raw chicken. Okay, there we go. Uh, I need my mallet. That's what I was over here for. Cool. All right, flatten this thing out. Remember, uh, for those that are joining us or haven't seen the other ones, we want to make sure that this end is flatter. You don't need to get it as thin as this. We just need to get it closer because this is going to be like leather by the time this gets cooked. So we need to make sure that the, it cooks a bit more evenly. You know, every time I do that, <laughs> I don't take that off. There we go. That one's good. Loud noises. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. All right, now we're going to season. Ooh-wee. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to put some um, powdered garlic, salt, pepper, obviously, and uh, onion powder on there. Just because, why not? I think it'll make it taste a little better. I mean, that's kind of what we're doing, right? Again. I know a lot about cooking, but I don't know everything. So sometimes you just fuck around to find out. Make sure you get it out evenly. We don't want to drown it. I mean, these two containers have big holes on them, so they hit <laughs> big holes. Hey. Oh, whoa, Beavis. Beavis. My fan's on, so it's, it's moving. <laughs> All right, pat it down. Now watch, this hand I haven't touched the chicken with. That way I can keep going back into my salt. Be conscious of which hand has been contaminated. So the reason we were a couple of minutes late starting <laughs> is because my fiance is at work and she was using my Spotify account because she can listen to music while she works. She's a microbiologist. And uh, so we were fighting over the music and I had to text her. I'm like, hey man, you can't leave. I need this for the next hour and a half. <laughs> Okay, now before I forget, I'm going to go check on my, my oil here because I'm going to make sure it's not getting too hot. I believe it's probably where it needs to be, so let's drop it down to medium. And let's check it out. It's shimmery. Shimmering wonder. Oh yeah, 330. It's at least 350. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. We'll come back and check it. I don't actually have like the, the hot oil thermometer that you're supposed to have that sticks on it. So periodically I'll just go through and check it. So that way I don't, uh, my oil stays a consistent temperature. So, and then it's also experience and learning where my burner needs to be at. Um, and that's just practice, that's all that is. Okay, our chicken's ready. Let's get a, a pan going here. Right. Cook 
cool. Tell me, princess. I got the I lost the chicken in here, so I gotta make sure I I clean it out. Just be cognizant of where your meat goes. <laughs> um, just be cognizant of where your meat goes, just because you don't want to contaminate, accidentally contaminate your food. Um, Contamination is a real thing, seriously. Mm. Hot damn, that's good wine. Okay. Add our olive oil in. Do I have any more? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Need to add some more oil. So I only recently found out that uh, Pompeian oil is bullshit. I will not be getting them again. Apparently they use a lot of filler oils and use a couple toxic chemicals to extract it. They also lie on their on their thing. They said that if, if you're getting extra virgin olive oil, it's actually not extra virgin olive oil. So that kind of pisses me off because it's cheap. It was a cheap way to get olive oil into my diet. So, I mean, it's probably just regular oil, but there's also a... a uh, toxic chemical in there that I'm not really I'm unsure as to the uh, what damage it can do to us if ingested so apparently the FDA can only do so much huh okay so no not just yet you gotta make sure this thing's hot otherwise it's gonna it's not gonna cook it the right way there we go all right lay it away from you that way, if it splashes, it doesn't splash you, it splashes away, okay? Do your dishes as you go along. That way, there won't be too many when you're done. Speaking of which, let's do this. Oh, that smells so good already. Oh, my God. While you're in here and I'm just fucking around, you guys, there's going to be some downtime. So, um, if you got any questions, hit them up. I'll, I'll see that chat once I get over there, so. Ask Ask, ask. Even if it's just bullshit, it's shit. It's not a real question. Like you're just talking. That's fine. I love the interaction. That's ha half the reason I do this. Hey, what the fuck is a buffalo chicken egg roll? Hey, <laughs> King Russell, what's going on? Well, that's what we're about to find out, right? So basically, um, a kid, uh, egg rolls work. They're like a blank slate. So the egg rolls work where we're going to be able to put whatever we want in them, which is really kind of cool. Um, so. We'll make the traditional, the traditional um, egg roast on Wednesday. But today I wanted to fuck around and see what we could make with, you know, non-traditional ingredients, Western ingredients. And I love buffalo chicken, so that's what we're doing today. So we're basically making egg rolls stuffed with buffalo chicken, baby. That's what they are. All right. I'm going to chop up my onions first. I think that's plenty. I like onions. Green onions or scallions. That should be good. We know I'm fairly thin. We don't want big chunks of this. Use your knuckles and the claw to guide that. So just so people know, the claw, three in front, two in the back, okay? Three in front, two in the back. These to grip, these to guide, okay? And then you're basically using your knuckle. The, fat, the better you are, the faster you get. So I'm not that, not that awesome yet again. My knife skills are only so-so. In the end, you gotta be careful. Eh, definitely not professional grade, but it'll do. Okay, use your knife to scoop. That's pretty good. Let's take a look. There you go. See? All right. That's basically the consistency and what we want. You're just cutting little ringlets of them, okay? 
That's all we need. I think that's good. These, these are really strong. So we don't want to go nuts on them, okay? A little goes a long way. Get our egg roll wraps over here. Get those set up. We're going to need a butter and a brush. Let's check our oil temperature just to be safe. Make sure it's still where we want it. It's a little higher than I need it, so we're going to drop the heat down. A little too hot. If it gets too hot, it's just as bad. It'll cook the outside of our egg roll faster than it'll cook the inside. Which, again, we don't need to cook it too much, but you know, you got to make sure. So we're going to we're going to take the. Um, oh, sorry. Let's fix this. We're going to um, take our um, cream cheese and soften it up because we need to be able to mix it. So I'm going to nuke it for a little bit. I love cream cheese, but man, it's a pain in the ass to cook with. Now you can do, this is full on flavor cream cheese. If you want, you can do the light version. It's gonna have less fat, a little more sugar. You're trading one for the other. Fat's got more calories, sugar has less. You're also losing a little bit of flavor, but it's not a bad trade off. You're not gonna, when you're mixing it with other things, you're not gonna lose a lot of flavor on it. So if you're trying to save on calories, that is one easy way to do that. And I recommend doing so, do not, go for the fat-free. Fat-free sour cream, fat-free uh, any kind of cheese is just trash. Trash. It tastes awful. Let's do 30. Let's see what that does for us. All right, let's check our chicken. Damn. Okay. So we're going to pull it up and check it. Check that out. That's not bad. Just flip it. Digging it. That's really good. Okay. It's on medium heat. We like medium heat. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Goldilocks would be would be happy. Okay. All right. Let's check our. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Now, normally we would let our, we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna take it and dump it straight in there. Once we, we're, I'm just gonna chop it up. Um, I, you can shred it or mince it. Um, I'm gonna, I, do, I want it to be small pieces. Um, I recommend shredding, but I don't wanna wait. So we'll see if it plays out to where I can wait and it doesn't make the stream too boring, I will, uh, um, I'll shred it. Cause you gotta let it cool enough to where you can pull it. Um, otherwise I'm just gonna mince it. Um, but really that's, we're just trying to, we don't want huge chunks of chicken or anything like that. Remember, if you've ever had an egg roll, you don't get huge chunks of anything. There may be a lot of cabbage in a traditional egg roll, but you're not taking a big bite out of it. You know, it's not like one big thick piece of, 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 uh, cabbage. So that's, that's not how it goes. Um, you want some, you want them smaller, smaller pieces. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what, while we're waiting, let's make our sauce. I've never made this sauce before, so I'm kind of curious to see what it'll taste like. So, you know, let's let's try it out. Fuck it, let's fuck around and find out. It's not Friday, but you know, <laughs> this calls for ranch, dill, and holy crap, dude! Ah. Oh. It's really on there. Um, ranch, blue cheese, or gorgonzola. That is not coming off. Holy crap. I'm, I'm bending the bottle. Damn. I had to use my teeth, y'all. You know it's on tight when you gotta use your teeth. Jeez, man, like a primitive. All right, <laughs> got it off though. All right, so probably do it about a cup of ranch. Two tablespoons of dill. Right now I'm gonna do a tablespoon, it seems like a lot. I'm gonna put all of our, I got about a quarter cup of blue cheese in there. I'm gonna put it all in there. Stinky, stinky blue cheese. Hmm. Gotta love it though. Bad 
bad, not bad. I'm going to crush up some of the uh, blue cheese chunks. Try to release some of that flavor into the uh, ranch. Not all of them. I still want it to be kind of chunky, like me. It's okay. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not a huge ranch guy, so maybe that's why. Honestly, I think maybe a little bit of salt and pepper would do well on that. Let's do that. And uh, some lemon juice. A little bit of garlic. Sorry, I'm not over there doing this. I'm kind of winging this and seeing what it's like. Maybe I fucked it up. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. We'll see. I'll need the giant bottle of ranch there. Wow, that's actually a lot better. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I'm digging it. Cleaning up my mess here. All right, so these are good. We're also going to need an egg wash for our egg rolls. So an egg wash is basically um, we're going to take an egg, pop it in there, add a little bit of water, mix it together, and then we're going to use that to brush on as like a glue for the egg roll so that they stick together, okay? A little bit of water, cold water. And I'm going I'm to be like Babish. <laughs> if you've ever seen cooking with Babish, I'm going to be like Babish. I got my little, my little tiny whisk. <laughs> I can see why he uses it. These are really fun. You only need like a tablespoon per egg. If that, like you don't need a lot of water. It's just to make it easier to incorporate. You don't need it to be super thick. But you don't want it super watery either. So about a, about a tablespoon is fine. Like that. Okay. It's pretty good. All right. That's good. Got my brush in. Brush in. Let's check. See how our oil is doing. It looks like it's a little better. about 400. I'm going to drop it down just a hair more. Don't drop it down too quick, too low, because then you're going to have this yo-yo effect where you're, you're playing around with uh, the temperature. You don't want to just be patient. Let it come down on its own. You only need to drop it down a, a little bit at a time, okay? And again, that's just experience. Learning what works, what doesn't work. Okay, let's check our chicken. All right, so how do we tell our chicken's done? The juices run clear and this should be fairly firm. This is not done yet. It's still bleeding pink. However, I don't want it to burn, so we're gonna flip it. That one's done. Let's get that one off. I'll let this sucker sit. So pretty. All right. Now we're gonna let this sit um, so we can cool and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shred it. We'll see if it's too hot to shred then I'll just chop it up Make do because I want to make sure that you guys don't have to hang around too much for this shit, you know God I hate ranch <laughs> It's just awful I'm gonna hang on to that And then this just in case. This is all to balance out our um, our sauce that we're gonna make. So basically, um, I mean, if there's one thing that you should focus on 
when it comes to cooking other than controlling your heat. So, all right, so let me go on a bit of a rant here. I'll get a drink too. All right. Hmm. Let's make sure our music is still going here. Sounds like it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Music kicked off earlier. I just want to make sure. All right, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, other than controlling your heat. So, the art of cooking comes down to controlling your heat, first and foremost. If you don't control your heat, then um, you're going to burn whatever or undercook whatever it is you're cooking. Obviously, there are things that you cook without heat, but um, let's assume that we're just dealing, by and large, cooking involves controlling your heat. Um, the other thing that we're going to focus on then is flavor. And that's going to come down to pairings and intensity. Um, pairings is what goes with what. Um, there's an excellent book that I have that I pulled out on the first day uh, with no mic because I forgot about my mic. Um, is called uh, The Flavor Bible. It's basically nothing but a reference book. All right, It's like an encyclopedia. So it'll list out like pistachios and then everything that pistachios generally pairs well with. The downside is you can only do two, basically two ingredients at a time, but you, you, know, you start to learn. So can, hey man. Um, so the Flavor Bible is, I highly recommend it for any chef just because it is just the go-to to figure out what works together. Like if you're in your kitchen and you don't know what to make, you go to that thing, figure out what's in your fridge and start pairing up ingredients, you know? I mean, you could do a Google search too, I guess. I don't know. All right, I think our chicken's done here. Yeah, we're, bleed we're bleeding clear. All right, cool. Let's pull this off. All right, let's see if it's cold, cool enough for me to shred. Uh, you know what, let's get that. So I'm gonna hold it with the tongs. I don't like doing it, I'd rather just grip it. So we'll see, we'll see if I can, there we go. You'll see it come off as the muscle fibers, okay? Like I said, I hate using those. You just can't grip it as well. This is cool enough that I can deal with it. Cook long enough, your hands, we call it dead hands in the kitchen, where you're just used to grabbing hot things and your hands get used to it. All right, so we're gonna shred this up. I'll do a first pass and a second pass because it's gonna pull apart as the fibers come apart. Oh, that's hot. This will allow it to cool as well. So we're gonna, that's close to what I want, but. All right, for that one, I'm definitely gonna have to. Yeah, man, Sokin, Sokin's the dude that's coming. Go check out his stream if you like uh, Twitch streams. He's a good gamer. Um, it's fun watching him play scary games, by the way. <laughs> Uh, she's, my fiance's got me trying to play the original Outlast, which I've never played before, and she will only let me play it at night in the dark. Holy shit. <laughs> shit. I think I made it like 15 minutes into it, man. <laughs> and I like scary movies, too, man. I'm like, I grew up with, you know, all the originals, Nightmare on Elm Street, because I'm 46. I grew up with all the originals, and but that shit, cool girl. There we go. All right, first pass. Let's get the, there we go, there we go. Yeah, anyway, Sulkin's coming over on Monday, hopefully Monday, um, and then uh, we're gonna make some food. Don't know yet what we're gonna make, but we'll figure it out. Bring extra underwear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll just wear a diaper, <laughs> get some Depends. All right, so I'm just shredding this to a little more manageable bite-sized pizza pieces. Yeah, it to be super small. It's up to you. I mean, make it as small as you want. That's the beauty of cooking is you can do whatever you want to this stuff. You want it to look like whatever. You want it to look like fine dining. I mean, fine dining is going to take a bit more because there's a bit more artistry, especially to the plating. So it's country cooking, home cooking, rustic cooking, whatever you want to call it. That's more what I do. Don't get me wrong. I love plating. I love learning to cook fine dining, but that's a lot more expensive. 
but I can make flavors that rival a lot of fine dining restaurants. It's just not going to look the same because their knife skills are way above mine. Um, they're 20 year chefs, you know, I'm a six year chef or eight or whatever it is now. And that's private chefing, not even in the restaurants. So I was in the restaurants for about five years. And after that, it was culinary school. Well, before that, it was culinary school as well as private chefing. So it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Whew. Damn, that's hot. Ooh. Yes, it hurts, but I don't care. All right, so I'm gonna take this. This is a huge piece of uh, tendon. I'm not gonna incorporate that because ain't nobody gonna wanna bite into that, really. It's not gonna taste good at all. Okay, so almost done. Then we're gonna start building our sauce and then we're gonna roll up these suckers and cook them off. Oh, that burns, motherfucker. Okay, so that's not bad. Check it out, that's, that's shredded chicken. Uh, one shortcut to this is that you could probably use a rotisserie chicken, which will, you wanna get about three cups worth. Um, so rotisserie chicken will be fine if you wanna, don't wanna bother cooking your own thing. If you wanna make it short and sweet and just get it done, like you don't got a lot of time, that's cool. You get all those juice in there, man. That's just the good stuff. All right, you don't need the knife anymore. Never leave your knife in the sink. I saw so many chefs cut the crap out of their hands because their knife was left in the sink. Let's do a few dishes here, we're starting to pile up. All right, one last check on our oil and then we'll start making the other stuff. Let's get this sucker in. So to make this easier on cleanup, add while it's still hot, add soap. It's wheezing, it's got asthma. Um, add soap and hot water to it. Let it sit for a little bit, okay? Especially non-stick pans, those things you don't wanna, you can't use steel wool on, so you're at the mercy of the pan. All right, let's check this out. Looking for 350. All right, we're sitting around 400, so I'm gonna drop it down just a hair. It's leveling out. It's leveling out. Oh, sorry, didn't have your uh, own cams on. Okay, so, um, all right, so now, oh, you know what? Let's clean our board, because we gotta start assembling it, thanks. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this cutting board. Ikea, baby, 15 bucks. I love that place, man, I'm telling you what. I tell you what, man. Okay, let's build our sauce real quick. Cream cheese, cream cheese, in. <laughs> Why is everything being so difficult today? Holy crap, it's a Monday, right? No, nope, gotta have to cut it. It does not wanna open. Supremo. There we go. I don't want to cut it too low. Okay, so we want about, it's up to you, but I want a decent amount of cheese in there. Remember, this is not gonna be a lot. We don't want a lot of cheese because it'll rob us of our flavor. You starving? <laughs> I think it'll be enough on our sauce. I may add other hot sauces in there just in case. All right, I'm gonna use my hands, honestly. Feel free to use whatever you want if you don't want to. Now, fortunately, the chicken is still warm, so that's gonna help get that. Cream cheese to incorporate a little more. Really, we're just looking for consistency. We wanna make sure that the uh, everything mixes together. Oh man, this smells so good. Man, I love buffalo chicken. This is perfect. Perfect amount of hot sauce. We got lucky on that one, boys and lady. Well, when you come over, you can eat the food we make. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this is fucking messy as hell. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. 
Holy crap. Okay. Let's get a good look at this. This is so good. Man, it smells good. All right. No, you don't need to see me. I'm pretty, but this stuff's prettier. All right, check that out. So that's what you're looking at. Okay, we've got the green is the green onions. Okay, the cooking chicken's already cooked, so we don't need to worry about cooking that. This is why you have to cook it ahead of time. Do not rely on your oil to cook it because it takes about um, three to five minutes to cook the um, egg rolls. We don't want to. That's not long enough to cook our chicken. Okay, um, so oil's ready. All right, this is fine. Let's get this over here. I'll deal with that in a second. We don't need that on our oven though. Okay, so here's our oil. It's shimmering, shining, wondrous. That song's stuck in my head now, man. I'm telling you what. Why do I keep saying that? I sound like a freaking redneck. I'll tell you what, man. All right, so let's cut open our egg rolls. There we go. All right, so when you open these things up, there's a thin film of flour on these things, all right? Here, hold on, I got a couple things on my board here from that sauce. Okay, um, so here, let's check them out. They're a little folded over on one corner, but that's okay. So, can you see? They're super delicate, okay? Be gentle. These will tear so quickly. All right, so we're gonna pull these off to the side. Got my tablespoon. Use the uh, cardboard that's underneath there to hold it, okay? That way it doesn't stick to anything. So first one up, let's show you how this is done. Put it in a diamond shape, okay? Diamond shape. You're gonna take a tablespoon or two of our thing. You want it to look like a tiny skinny log. Let's get a better, let's get a better shot. You really do need to see this. So I'm gonna take the first one really slow so you can see, okay? You ever seen them fold up a burrito at Chipotle? This is what we're gonna do, okay? Let me see if I can do it a little bit be back a little bit okay then you're gonna pull this one up keep it tight very sweet and then I'm gonna need my other hand and then we're gonna fold fold continue to roll and then fold before we do that we're gonna put our egg wash along there because that's our glue okay so let's flip this around all right so there we go okay it up, hold it up, keep it tight. We don't want it to bubble up while we're cooking, okay? Hold it in with your pinky. See how I'm pushing in? Don't, you're gonna pull it back under a little bit, but be gentle. This will tear so easily, okay? And there it is. Okay, so this is our egg roll. Perfect. Okay, let's get a plate. We're going to put them in batches. I think we can probably get three to five in there at a time. Remember, you got to roll them over, so be gentle. That is the rule number one in dealing with egg rolls. Now, as you see, if we do this on Wednesday with traditional egg rolls, you'll see this again. Come on now. Problem is, is the uh, chicken's making it a little ooh, difficult. A little bit more, I think. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's taste. That's pretty good, actually. Um, 
Yeah, it's got some heat to it. I think if anything, I'd add a little salt, but I'm trying to watch my salt, so I'm gonna, yeah, it, it really does. Um, I love doing this. We had to do them like hundreds at a time in the restaurant, so you get really good at them. And you can put, you can literally put whatever you want in there, man. Try to keep your hands clean, okay? So I'm gonna start dirtying up my thing because I'm not gonna, gonna be a little sloppy here. So use this to shape. Tuck it under. You want it to look like a roll, not a gift box. There you go. Number two. All right, nice job. Okay, don't worry. I'll start drinking again. <laughs> mm. Damn, that's good. Okay, get another one going. Egg wash first. If you guys got any questions, let me know. This is not labor intensive. <laughs> If you overload it, you'll know. It'll squeeze out of the side, or you won't be able to wrap it completely. You need to have this thing completely sealed in. So it'll take some getting used to, but you'll figure out what it is that you're looking for. Well, you know, I'm making a mess down on the ground. Hold on. I gotta be a little more careful. I always have to clean up afterwards, too. So there's, this, there's a uh, chef in Napa Valley who's like, one of the guys, right? And normally when you cook, food goes everywhere, right? Because you're so fast. But this guy, this is why they don't have carpet in a kitchen, you know? Why would you have carpet in a kitchen? Even at home, why would you have a carpet in a kitchen? But this guy, he's got carpet. Uh, Thomas Keller, I think his name is. Um, that's the rumor. Now, I, I cannot attest to this, but that's the rumor. He's got carpet in his kitchen because he doesn't allow anybody to spill on the carpet. That's how careful they are. That's the rumor. That's the urban legend. His food looks gorgeous, man. This artwork. I wish I was on his level. But I had a kid, so I had to stop being a professional chef. Well, one in kitchens anyway. I wanted to see my kid. You either have a family or you have a, sh a kitchen. It's not both. There are out there that do it, but I just couldn't. Not in a divorce situation, which is what's gonna happen. So, I wanted to see my kid, man. Perfect. Oh my God, that looks so good. All right, we got one more and then I'll start cooking them over there. We'll start making a, a little assembly line here, okay? Thanks so much for you guys showing up and joining in, man, seriously. I know this is kind of boring at the moment to watch, so but I appreciate you being here, no joke. All right, a little more, a little more. There we go. You know what? I want a little more. Oh my gosh, that's so good. All right. Now, if you start screwing this up at the beginning, do not hate yourself. I've made a thousand of these, so <laughs> this is uh, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna put this in here. Be careful when you're putting it in, man. This is 350 degree hot water, or hot oil. Hot water, really? So it looks like we can get four at a time. That's our batch size. We will turn this over because this is a shallow fry, okay? Look at that, looks so good. Your temperature will also drop a little bit when you first put them in there. Yeah, I agree, Sokin, I love, I love cooking. It's my favorite thing. I, I absolutely love cooking. It's why I started this business, you know. I, I love cooking, I actually love that, and I love being able to show people how to cook. So this is not just, I, I don't want people just to watch me cook. I want them to ask questions and learn how to control their food. Because while we'll make food, like this is not super healthy, it's not horrible, but it's not, definitely not. It's deep fried, anytime you deep fry anything, come on now, we're kind of throwing health out the window. So every once in a while, I'm gonna make unhealthy foods. But um, you can still, you know, just don't eat a lot of these. 
you know, have this as your cheat meal for the week or something. You know, it's not that you need to forego this amazing food. And my goal is to teach you how to control your diet and shape your physique without having to eat fucking grass clippings, man. I hate health food. I realize that's my tagline and I'm kind of running into the ground, but I really do. I can't stand, eh, that was kind of messy, um, health food. It tastes like grass clippings. It's, it's, it's no fun. And food should be fun, especially in America. Would be making the perfect diamond? You mean the, the shape itself or as we roll it up? my hands a little bit. I'm starting to get gunked up from the flour. Oh, the shape itself? Yeah. It, that's the hardest part, honestly, is not tearing. When you first do it, is not is learning not to tear the egg roll. Really, it's, I mean, if you've ever done a burrito, it's the exact same process, man. This is gonna be awesome. I love egg rolls. I haven't had them in so long. I like traditional egg rolls, actually. Uh, my favorite are chicken egg rolls. Um, I love them. They're so good. I love putting fish sauce in them. Oh, that fish sauce. It smells awful, but it tastes so good. Let's check our uh, food here. All right, we need to turn them over. Just keep it even. Look at that! <laughs> oh my god, guys, it looks so good! Oh yeah! Woo! Love it! Ah, you know what? That calls for another drink. Motherfucker! Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, and you can use, um, you can even use just straight up water. It doesn't hold nearly as well, but you just need to get it wet. That's why there's flour on these things to keep them from sticking to each other. So again, if you need to save that little extra bit of calories, because obviously an egg has 90 calories in it, and that's like two or three extra calories. If you're really trying to hone in on that, then go by all means. These can also be baked. I have never baked egg rolls, but basically the rule of thumb is if you can fry it, you can bake it. So maybe we'll try that with the uh, the regular egg rolls. Maybe we'll try some of them and put them in the oven and see how it turns out. Because I've never done that before. And that would be a great way to save on calories and still eat egg rolls. Maybe we'll air fry it too. I have an air fryer. I've never done them that way, but I'm not 100% sold on the efficacy of the air fryer. But it is kind of fun to make french fries out of them. Now, I'm not going to make you guys hang around and, and watch me cook all of these because that would be really boring. But we'll cook, we'll cook them up. We'll let those cool the first batch and then we'll uh, cut them open and try them out. Because I'm going to have at least three or four batches in here and that's, that's going to take a hot minute. Ain't nobody want to watch me do that. Because it's the same thing over and over. I know I'm entertaining, but come on now. There we go. So you can see um, I'm putting these on the... Uh, Try an air fryer. Yeah, I do have an air fryer, so maybe we'll do, let's do that. That's actually, let's do on Wednesday when we make the regular chicken rolls, we'll divide them up into three batches and maybe I'll prepare some of them so you don't have to hang around for that because it takes a long time as you can see to make these. Um, let's do a third of them in the air fryer, a third of them in the, in the oven and a third of them in the shallow pan fry. And let's see, let's see what happens and how it comes out. It gets more the more you drink, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, um, here, let's do this. Oops, wrong one. So can you see, this is, I'm not putting them in the direct center. They're back just a little bit towards the end of this thing. And um, because when you roll it up, it's gonna go that way. You want more this way so that it, it'll wrap around it and seal it in more, okay? Plus this allows you to get a better gauge of where your ends are at. So this is what you're looking at. Looks like a one of those cheese logs. 
Okay. So every time I say okay, I keep thinking it's, uh, I sound like Joe Pesci from uh, the uh, Lethal Weapon movies. Okay, 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 okay. Leo gets. Whatever you want, Leo gets it. Those movies did not age well. Let's be honest. I know my egg rolls are almost done, so we're going to go get them after I roll this one up. There we go. Yeah, normally I'd be way more drunk than I would be today, but like I said, I'm not feeling good today. So we're we're not going crazy on the alcohol. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right, we want to get... I need this. I'm gonna put them on a rack so that they're not sitting in their own grease. Yeah, so look at that golden frickin' brown, y'all. Ooh-wee. That is perfect. Let it, when you pull it out, there's gonna be a lot of grease on it. Let it, let it fall off, okay? Because you're just gonna make a mess otherwise. Woo! Man, that looks good. Now, as you cook these, you can see our grease level, or our uh, oil level, is going lower and lower. So we may, just to finish it off, have to add more oil. So that means you have to retemp it. And when you first take it out, it's not going to be as hot as it normally is. Ooh, that oil is hot. Perfect. Okay, let that sit. Let's get our next batch. I'm gonna let those cool for a minute because they're just too hot to handle right now. Too hot to handle! Oh yeah! So that's a really good idea. This is why I love the streaming aspect of this cooking is because you guys give me great ideas that I wouldn't normally come up with on my own. I mean, of course I would. I'm, I'm an amazing chef. So anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Moving right along to the sound of the song. Ooh, that one's a lot. That might be too much. Let's see. Fuck it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Be good to daddy. Ooh. Yeah, so, <laughs> so my, my fiance got a car a couple years ago. I think it was two years ago. And uh, so on the back of hers, it's the license says it's baby girl. And it's, it's obviously not just straight baby girl. It's like it's like BB1, BBG1RL, because you know, when you get license plate, vanity plates, you know, you you do what you can. You can take this a long way, man. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks, I appreciate it. I hope so. That's the goal, right? That's how I started this thing. Um, I have so much fun doing it, seriously. Um, we probably got enough for two more in here. Um, anyway, so she's got a license plate that says baby girl and she's super into pink and, and all this stuff. The color pink as well as she used to work at Victoria's Secret for years. Which, how hot is that? You know, every guy wanted to date a girl that worked at Victoria's Secret. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's underwear. I don't know. But she, um, so she, when I went and got my car the next year, she's like, I want you to get a license plate that says daddy on it. It's so creepy when I say it, and so cringy, but I did, and it says like D-A-H-D-D-Y, because everything else was taken. But one of the things that I found, other than the creepiness of it, is that it pisses off the right people. <laughs> Conservative America, the boomers, man, they see that shit, I get such dirty looks. <laughs> right? It's the same thing. Um, yeah, if you hang around long enough, you'll probably hear the same stories. You know what? Let's make... I'll make two small ones, because I don't think I got enough to do. It's, it's just on the line between too much and too little. Um, but yeah, I get such looks, <laughs> such looks. People are just like, I don't like that. Who is this guy? And then they roll up and try to get a look at me. <laughs> oh, we forgot our glue. Yeah, let's go check on our uh, egg rolls here. Okay, so look, 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 look what happened. This probably means it's too low. Let's check our temp. We're probably gonna have to turn this up to medium. I should have anticipated that, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't do a lot of deep frying, so. 
Yeah, well, it looks like we're, we dropped to about 250 instead of 350. So that means that we got to make sure it's going to take longer to cook and it means more grease gets inside. So I'm going to pop it up. I'm going to double the heat from two to four on that thing to try to give it some life. We'll be okay. Just remember, you got to stay on top of your oil and, and check it. So, all right, let's get this guy in here. All right. And then this will be our last one. We got a couple extra egg rolls left over since I'm cooking them on Friday. I'm just going to put them in a bag. Um, they'll be fine. Little baggy. Little baggy. Get that money. Get that, get that money. That girl got me on that. Cardi B life. I never know how white I am until I try to sing along to those songs. <laughs> She just rolls her eyes. She's like, oh my God, I hate you. The best way to get to her is to just, to, I like fucking with her. Cause I mean, if you can't fuck with your significant other, I mean, what are we here for? But uh, is to deliberately rap off beat. She hates it so much. She can't stand it, man. She just, she's like, why do you do that? <laughs> oh my God, I love it. All right, so let's do this. Let's clean up a little while we're waiting on uh, our foil to come up the temp on the other one. Let's get the air out of that. And then we're going to cut open our first batch. Let me clean up a little bit here. Nope. Thought I could get away with it, but nope. Downside of working with flour, man. As soon as it gets water on it, it gets it's literal paste. Reminds me of the uh, paper mache you used to do as a kid. All right, that'll work. Let's flip this. All right, excellent. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we shall see. I'm gonna use a bread knife for this because I don't wanna squish it. You need something with some blades on it. Okay, so. It's a, just, just a bread knife. It's a little dull. I need to, it's my culinary school one. So I actually got a nice, oh, hey, let's, I, I got this in. And one of the things I'm gonna teach you guys is how to sharpen a knife. What did I do with it? Oh my God, what did I do with it? Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. So this is not a motorized one. This is a, um, this is, a, this is a very good, it's only like 25 bucks. I highly recommend this. Chef's Choice, they're not paying me to say anything. They don't know who I am. So thanks, I like it too, it's really fun. Um, I'm gonna try to play around with my GoPro because I find that the camera, um, my phone camera, the pixelates and digitizes. So I'm gonna try to play with it. The problem is I got an older GoPro and it doesn't like to work with OBS, so we'll see. Um, anyway, so. This thing, I highly recommend this. Uh, your knives have to be sharp, otherwise you're just gonna get injured. I mean, I, I've got, I've got a seven stitches here. I chopped off my pinky. I mean, I've got so many cuts from the kitchen. Anyway, so, all right. Cut it at a, on the bias. So this means that we're gonna cut it. Yeah, let's do this. Oops, here we go. So. We're going to cut it on the bias. On the bias means that if something is straightforward and we're normally going to cut it this way, get a straight top down to, on the bias means that we're going to cut it this way and at an angle. It's much prettier. Highly recommended. Presentation is everything. Uh, nope. Wrong one. Cutting words what I want. Okay. So. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on this at all. I'm, I'm using the blades, letting the blade work. I'm holding both sides so it doesn't collapse on itself. This is so delicate. 
Ooh, look at that. Oh, we gotta get a close up here. Let's do it this way. Make it look pretty. That's how you stack it on a plate and you put a sauce around it, which I don't have any sauce, so we're gonna have to imagine. Look at that. That is so fucking pretty. Ooh. Let's see what it turned out. Um, I don't know if it's too hot or not. Yeah, I have two Logitech webcams, actually. That's my other two cameras, the C922. Uh, uh, highly recommend them. Love them. But I can't use that and do this because that's I have to have a mobile camera. That was my initial shtick when I first started doing this. I have actually found my old drunk cooking videos where it was just my camera, so I'm going to put those on my YouTube channel. i got to edit them up. All right, so... Oh, wow. Holy fuck. Here we go. All right. Let's do a little bit of our sauce with it. Ooh, man, it's got some heat on the back end. Oh, before we can, got to switch these over. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time in cooking because we let the heat get down. All right. <clears throat> uh, spoon. All right, so we're gonna, oops, I always click the wrong button on this thing. Look at that, uh, so let's see how this pairs. Remember, I modified this, this isn't just, I added uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and lemon juice to that ranch dill and uh, blue cheese mix because I didn't really, wasn't super huge on the flavor. That's the same camera. Hey, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's really common. That's, I really like that. I, I, I had one a while ago. It was actually the, the 920 and then they, they, it's 922 now. So. Oh. Okay, yeah. That sauce is fire. Oh my God. So. I'm not going to finish eating. Nobody wants to watch me eat, so. My God, that's good. So what I am going to end up doing, I have a Discord already created that I'm going to post all of the recipes so subscribers get to, um, uh, those that subscribe to Twitch, that's what that's your, your benefit for doing, is that you're going to get all these recipes. I will post these recipes publicly and for free later. There will be a delayed effect. I don't know what that is, maybe just a month or so, or maybe, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but, um, cause I'm kind of new to this, but I will post the recipes all online and for free across my platforms. I'm on it pretty much everything, so. But, for now, the initial, and the, obviously the benefit is also that you get to communicate with me directly all the time, so. Not just yet. See, look, here, let's check this out. Can you see? The top part looks done, but the bottom part isn't. And this also broke open. So that's usually, well, it's starting to, but that's usually how you can tell you got too much in there. But this one, see that? That was what was above it. We need to even that, that out a little more. So maybe another minute or so on that. Okay, so we're almost done. Like I said, I'm not gonna make you guys hang around. Kick ass, man, hell yeah. Um, and that's actually one of the things I want to talk to you about when you come over is subs and all that stuff because I haven't, I haven't, I don't even think I've set all that stuff up yet, so we'll see. Um, yeah, let's put all candles on again. Oh, that was so good. Wow, that's really good. Um, so the 920, yeah, one of these two cameras, either the burner or the uh, cutting board, is the 920. The other is the 922. So, yeah, they're really good. Hmm. That's good. So the wine of today, I always try to tell people what the wine I'm getting, is Robert Mondavi. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. I almost always go for cabs. I love them. They're dry, heavy, slaps you in the face kind of cab. I love it. Um, but um, it actually works really well with that. I'm not going to lie. I think uh, a mid-load, a, mi a, mi uh, a nice heavy Merlot would work better. But anyway, we'll talk about wine pairings as well and how to pair wine, uh, food with wine. Um, because I learned how to do that in culinary school. I actually didn't know how to do any of that. Um, so that was one of the things that they taught us how to do. Um, give me one second, my 
camera here has gotten a little bit of grease on it. Go back in the back here and grab some tissue. Ah, there we go. Cool. Yeah, see, much clearer. Okay. All right, so what was I saying? Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Sulkin has been awesome. He totally helped me out. He uh, set me up with a stream stream deck, which is amazing. Highly recommend that if you're going to do any kind of streaming. All right, these are done. I'm going to take these off. That's why you don't overload them, because if you do, they end up breaking, and that's no bueno. Okay. Let me put this down, because I'm going to, let's do another, let's do another one. I'll take pictures of this and post these as well and plate them. Probably have, let's do a batch of three, because that means we got a batch of two, and then we're done. So, not as many as I thought. I'm excited to do the ones on Wednesday, the, the experiment between the baking, the air frying, and the, um, the traditional deep frying. So, that, I'm actually really kind of, that'll actually be really cool. I'm excited. Um, so, I think that's about it, guys. Um, are there any questions before we go? Because um, really, it's just me cleaning up and then finishing off these last few batches, which you guys don't have to hang around for that. That's okay. Um, but yeah, if that's it, on Wednesday, we'll be on noon. It'll be on YouTube Live. So same exact thing, just YouTube Live, Drunk Cooking with Chef Jetty. So you can Google search for that because the, uh, the link for it, even though I have it on my profile here, is just they don't, it's like some weird numbers and alphanumeric shit. So it's not like Twitch where you actually have a name you can look up. So. Um, but it'll be the same thing over there. Same exact format, just on YouTube Live. And then Friday, we'll be back here. And Friday, my buddy Peter is coming, and he is going to cook Indian food. He is really, really good at Indian food. I am not that good at Indian food. I have not had the chance to cook too much Indian food. I got the white people version of using curry and chicken. Um, uh, but he, I've been to his house plenty of times, man. He is so good at Indian food. So I don't know what we're cooking yet. I'm gonna talk to him uh, tomorrow or the next day and find out what we're cooking. Um, would it be beneficial to everybody if we, if I put ahead of time what we'll be cooking or do you just like to show up and, and see what it would be? Because right now it's show up and see. <laughs> would, it, would you like you guys like to know ahead of time what I'm going to cook or would that, does that even matter? Okay, no worries. All right, then that is it. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I appreciate that. Um, sounds great, thank you. I think ahead of time. Cool, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Blondie, good point, promo post. I like that idea, good point. Okay, cool, like I said, I'm kind of new to all this, so I'm kind of learning. Um, all right, cool. I will see you guys Wednesday, hopefully. If not, um, have fun and uh, cheers. Where's my ending button?